Hello, hello. Welcome to February. I can't believe it's February already. And I thought today I will just do a general update as to how the Audio Unicorn is is going along. It's been uh, quite a few very eventful months and I haven't given you an update of where I am with regards to the, the whole Audio Unicorn journey. So so this is it. This is the update. Um, I will start off by saying that December has been one of the most challenging months for me. And the reason behind that was that, uh, and but well, saying that, I think it turned out for the good. <laughs> so, But it required a lot of jiggling things around. Um, one of our producers uh, who looks after the podcast production um, has given in his notice due to family emergency. He literally had to abandon his work where he was standing and just go and, and tend to family, which is obviously important. Uh, and that left me just before Christmas uh, with a number of shows that needed a podcast producer. So I was thinking, what do I do? Well, I've been enjoying doing some podcast post proposed production recently. What if I just dive all in? What if I dive all in and learn it as I go along and kind of go and, and be the podcast producer? And that's essentially what I did. And probably the best decision I've made uh, in a very long time. I didn't need long to actually find my feet around it. I, you know, it, it wasn't a challenge as in, oh, how do I do this? How I do that? It was more of a kind of getting used to things, um, getting used to different shortcuts, getting used to workflow and setting up my own workflow. Uh, and I found this immensely valuable experience. Um, I've taken on over the course of a, of a month, I think it was something like 15 different podcasts to produce. Uh, so as you can imagine, it was a full on experience. Um, and now, obviously, you know, I'm not <laughs> insane. And I do have a full time job uh, that obviously isn't a podcast producer. I, with time, I've managed to, to fill in the, the role. I just couldn't do it straight before Christmas. I, I just found it absolutely impossible to be looking for somebody right before Christmas and, and filling in that role. So uh, it actually worked out for the best. It gave me the opportunity to really delve into the post-production process, um, but also discover that I quite like it. <laughs> in fact, I like it so much. I kept two shows and I still produce them because um, I, I find it quite therapeutic for once to, to actually post produce the shows. It's very relaxing for me. Um, and the shows I've kept are actually very much on target with regards to the topic for me. So I actually find them very enjoyable to listen. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, in a normal case scenario, I probably wouldn't w find time to listen to the shows because I would find a million other things that I needed to do. But because I have clients waiting on the other end who want to the files to be produced, it kind of forces me to listen to them at the same time, which is which is a good thing because they are really interesting shows. So I've kept two for now. I, I probably will eventually give those out to, to other producers, but I've been very protective over them. But there is also something else that happened in that time. So as the, the audio unicorn journey progresses, um, at the very start, I said that I didn't know what kind of producer I wanted to be. Um, and, you know, I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried to be, you know, the, the imaging producer along the way. And I've learned a lot of things. It was very, very helpful. I've produced a, um, a, a ton of different uh, sweepers, IDs and, and other things. And I can do it now, which is great. I mean, it's fantastic, right? And then um, there is po speech post-production, which I found probably more enjoyable than, than actual imaging. Um, and the, the aspect that was really interesting to me was the fact that you can make somebody sound so much better. But as in, it's, it's the editing part where, you know, I, I do it a lot of the time. And I can't actually post edit myself. <laughs> I know this is terrible, but I find it terribly boring to post edit myself. And I'm, I'm not finding it as rewarding as, as somebody else. But, you know, people say, like, do a lot of things that they repeat all the time. Um, and everyone is different. Some people do a lot of um, uh, other people click with their mouths, which I sometimes do. It's this this sound, which is very annoying. And I, I'm trying to be conscious about this. But some people do that. And then there are also people who find it very hard to actually put together a sentence that makes sense. So they, they dance around the idea and then eventually they land at something. And I found that part of the producer's role is obviously fixing that and 
making the whole sentence make sense from start to finish and um, just generally kind of making it all sound good and polished and very um, well spoken. So so this was the, the part that I surprisingly, I found actually very rewarding and very interesting to work on. So whilst I still don't know exactly where that audio unicorn journey is leading me to, one thing I found is that I'm really enjoying the whole thing that leads into podcasting world. So I've tried to have a little go at the radio imaging and and all of that, but I'm just not finding it as exciting. And it's probably because I'm a little bit further removed from it. So obviously I don't have a radio show. Um, I don't speak to to, uh, radio presenters on a daily basis as I do with podcasters. So I found it a little bit more natural and easier to fall into the whole podcasting world. So this is where I've been kind of sitting in very comfortably and I'm, I'm in no rush to get out. So so this this is uh, this is where I am right now. So I actively am uh, acting as a producer for two shows. Uh, they are um, actually for three shows, the two clients, but three shows. And they are quite intense. So altogether, I probably produce... Um, four to five episodes a week. So it's not, you know, it's not a small amount uh, of episodes. But as I say, I enjoy those. The topics that um, uh, I'm covering in there are actually directly relevant to what I do at Music Radio Creative, which ties in with marketing, e-commerce world and um, social media and, and things like that. So I'm perfectly happy with that. And as I say, I will probably and get those over to to a, a different producer at some point, but not just yet. And another thing that happened in in all of this is with um, with each of those there were clients along the way before I left them out to to another producer. I've managed to actually make some really significant improvements in the shows, and I found that there is a major difference. <laughs> One producer does not equal another one. And what I mean in here is that quite often when you give your show for somebody to produce, they will just happily do it, but it won't actually give you any feedback. And I wanted to personally change that. There were shows where I've given active feedback on things like um, speech delivery, um, the recording quality, recording methods. So, you know, how it all connects and how podcasters record in different environments and how to best improve on that. I have also found myself um, giving people really good feedback and suggestions and ideas for for making changes to the structure of the show. I've done uh, a lot of um, audio branding suggestions as well. So when when you produce, you suddenly find yourself uh, thinking, oh, actually, this, this is a good place where we could use this or there could be a talk over music or it could be a little sound effect or just a, a little bit of a music snippet or, or even a voiceover introducing. So I've, I've given a lot of suggestions based on simply a, a very organic flow of things. And my customers really liked it. They actually really enjoyed it. Very, They were very grateful for it. So the whole experience that landed me very much in the podcasting world in the middle of December because of one of our producers having to leave for family reasons, it kind of led me into an entirely different direction. And I'm kind of curious to progress that a little bit further. I'm curious to pursue that uh, a little bit deeper. And I'm kind of sticking in podcasting world right now. So this is where probably more of the audio unicorn uh, content is going to focus moving forward. You probably, you've already seen that there was a lot of videos I've done on all things podcasting. Uh, but when it comes to post-production, this is, this is where I'm going to be sitting right now. So I'm at the moment branding myself as the podcast producer, um, but producer more than just person who edits your audio, but also a person who gives you um, a lot of good ideas on the show, content, structure, format, ways of recording and everything in between. So I want to be that kind of more full on producer than most you would find out there. So this is where Audio Unicorn sits. I would love to hear your thoughts and uh, maybe some additional ideas based on that. And um, yeah, would, would love to hear from you. So uh, please share your comments, thoughts, ideas, uh, and I'm here to listen. Thank you very much.